Right, ready to um, start on the cutting of the insulation. And first of all, it's really good to get a, a good open space and get all of your equipment ready so you're not up and down if you are upstairs getting all of your equipment or you don't have the luxury of a workshop. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I've got. So I've got my Salatex there. And I've got this really handy Keta board, which I use, and it's very, very easy to use and assemble. And as you can see, it's got two sort of um, locks there and one there, and that really helps to assemble the board. So I'm going to attempt to assemble this with ease. As you can see, Voila! One board set up with ease and hair all over the place. Right, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make this video with some sort of stand and tie my hair because <laughs> I think my hair's a health hazard and I think I'll get very little work done if I'm trying to do this as well as film. <laughs> and I don't know how you guys do it. Roger Bisbee, Robin, The Locked, Badger, everybody hats off to you. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this now. So I'm going to go over to the bay window and try and measure the bay window and come back and right, back again, hair up, tape measure, pencil and piece of paper. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring the um, outline for the insulation boards and by the way since we spoke last I've decided to use a 40 mil insulation board primarily because they were on offer at the merchants and it seemed like a good buy so uh, you can never have too much insulation so in terms of the measurements here I'm going to do it to the width of the board obviously there'll be two boards here and two on the corners and the the space in between here uh, I'm not an expert in chamfering, so what I'm going to do is put the board, glue it square on and fill it in with foam. So I will measure and come back and That's show you That's my bay window aperture. And I've labelled them A, B, C and that's the side wall D. That's the size of my board itself. As you can see, it's 8 by 4 and my B aperture actually that should be a B, will fit neatly into this with a bit of leftover there. So that's the only waste and that will go there. So I've got minimal waste and it's okay, useful so to do. I'm going for it now. So I've got my board here. I'm going to put it onto my bench and attempt to measure it out. So here it is, all sturdy on the bench, and earlier I'd shown you a straight edge that I had. So the straight edge is really useful to mark and also to use as a guide for cutting. So the first cut is 84 inches, so I will recheck my measurements and mark. 84 on both sides. There we go, still here. <laughs> Looks nice and done. If I were using a thicker board, I probably would do the cut in two phases. But as it's 40 mil, it's quite easy to do it in one phase. I'm just checking where my table is. So, saw in hand, sharp edge, adjust the camera. Right, guys, I don't know how you guys do all of this editing and filming at the same time, but hats off to you. Okay, here we go.
obviously the longer one because what I've done is my straight edge isn't really long enough so I should have thought about that when I went to the garden to get this so I'm going to cut that and I'll come back when I've got the 84 by 32 board ready for the first bay as you can see however one slight issue the boards are slightly proud of the windowsill and what I had forgotten to do was to take off the skirt the grippers for the carpet so once I've removed those that should tuck in neat and tidy and then I'll tidy up all the edges and cut around the frame there and then put the tape on and let you have a look at it after to that go back remove some floorboards and insulate right down to the bottom of the bay as the room was a mess anyway and hopefully it will pay dividend so just want to show you one of my muppet go. moments when i was cutting the board got it all over my face um whilst cutting the length of the board i didn't um, have anything underneath the board i was cutting so as i've just got near to the edge as you can see i've ruined the board somewhat there so the moral of the story is to have something on the other side that's going to drop before it drops and breaks like that <laughs> 